Hi Stampers, it's Elizabeth from StampScrapandMore.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Canada. And this is a not-so unboxing of my product that I purchased on for the pre-order for the new catalog. So it's already been unboxed, but I'm going to share it with you anyhow. All right, so let's start first with the in colors, which you've probably all seen already. We've got Orchid Oasis, Starry Sky, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, and Parakeet Party. Such pretty, pretty colors. Such pretty colors. With that goes, whoops, Stampin' Blends. So there's the Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, the uh, Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, and the Tahitian Tide. With that, and you all know where I'm going with this, is the cardstock. We've got the Starry Sky, the Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide, this is such a pretty blue, Parakeet Party, and a Sweet Sorbet. So let me just put all of this to, on the floor because I have more to share with you. And I'm gonna put those in the corner. Also in the in colors is the metallic ribbon. Is this is um, one eighth one eighth inch metallic woven ribbon. I have to say that last year or the year before Christmas catalog, there was a metallic ribbon. It was thicker. I didn't like it. It was really too thick, to, too uh, stiff to work with. This is so pliable and great to work with. Uh, it'd be great for tags, uh, you know, with a little string for tags and just added embellishments onto cards. This is beautiful. I even see this for Christmas. This would be a beautiful Christmas ribbon because it's got that metallic uh, shine to it. There's, uh, this one is the Orchid Oasis. This one's Sweet Sorbet. Tahitian Tide. And then this one is the Starry Sky, which I think would be really pretty for Christmas too. It's a really deep blue. So really pretty, that's the metallic ribbon, but it's very, very pliable. You can see how well it, it works in your hands. Some of you will know the ribbon I'm, I'm referring to from, uh, from a few years back. Okay, I'm going to show you some designer series papers now. Uh, let me start with the glimmer. This is the in color glimmer paper. It's six by six. And it's the glimmer in all of the new in colors, and there's four sheets of each. There's one side. I mean, yeah, it's all it's one sided. Sorry. And you can see the glimmer on that. Isn't that pretty. Isn't that beautiful? Tahitian tide. And there's the last one. So that is the six by six in color glimmer paper. This is called Hues of Happiness, and the colors are Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, Flirty Flamingo, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Granny Apple Green, Mango Melody, Melon Mambo, Mossy Meadow, Night of Navy, and Pool Party. That's a lot of colors, folks. <laughs> so this, I'm going to show you both sides. Just obviously 12 by 12, and that's one side. There's the other. One side, make great landscape. Like if you did a card like that was uh, horizontal, make great landscape. Basis for a card. Floral. This has a little retro kind of Partridge Family vibe to it. You can see there's stripes of colors. You can in some it, some patterns it's uh, more obvious than others. Oh, 
There's little, little hashtag stars. And then here's the last one. That is Hues of Happiness. It's a long weekend here in Canada, so I'll put this all away uh, on the weekend. This one is called Sun Prince, and the colors in this are Grey Granite, Night of Navy, Pacific Point, and Starry Sky. I love how one Stampin' Up! on one side is a very sort of subtle, more subtle, and then the other side is a bolder pattern. Really like, I really love this, this pattern. I know it's blues, but there's one. Oh, this one. This is the one. This would make a great, I think, scrapbook page for Christmas. I know it's it's sort of um, oh, wisteria-ish, and these are like uh, daisies, or not daisies, dandelions. Is that what they are, dandelions? Anyhow, but I thought because of the dark blue would really make a nice, a really pretty scrapbook page for Christmas. And what I would do is I would take the Wink of Stella and I would highlight the flowers, these um, wisteria, and to give it uh, sparkle and shine. I think, it, I, I know it's, it's not Christmas, but I think it would make a great Christmas page. That's in my eyes, anyhow. This one, it would make a great mail card because it's sort of a blue and white stripe. This, this pop of Pacific Point in this is really pretty. It sort of really highlights or, or brings out light behind the darkness. It's really pretty. And there's the back side. Again, hard to see, but it's almost like full words. Or it is full words, I think. Here's another one. And there's the back sign. This is a, a blue and white mm, leopard print. I'm not sure if that's what I would call it, but that's what I'm calling it. And then here's another one. And then here's the back side. So that is called Sun Prints. This is a stamp set and I'm called Framed Occasions. And it coordinates with die set that is carrying over from the old catalog called Beautiful Shapes. So if you've got the Beautiful Shapes dies, this coordinates with it. So we've got wishing you the best day ever, thankful we are friends, to a happy future ahead, thinking of you, and then we've got some floral elements. So. If you've got the beautiful shape dies, I give this some thought. That's one of the reasons why I purchased it. If you can hear stuff landing on my on my floor. Um, okay, so I'm gonna show you this one as well. This is called Stylish Shapes Dies. I love dies that are generic. They're not tied to a bundle, a stamp set, or specific shapes. So you know me, my favorites dies that are no longer, they, reti they are retiring, was, were the tasteful label dies. I love them, but they're retiring. They're going bye-bye. So I picked up the Stylish Shapes dies, which are, and there are 15 of them, and they're nesting squares, nesting circles, nesting banners. They're stitched. I'm hoping that this will coordinate really well with the layering circles, which are cir circles and scallops. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, so that is the Stylish Shapes dies. When we, when for the annual catalog, Stampin' Up! demonstrators are given a specific list that they can order from. We can't order anything we want out of the annual catalog. Reason being is that they would have to have the current annual catalog Plus the, the new annual catalog, they'd have to have every, all that product in the warehouse at the same time as everything in the warehouse for the mini catalog. They don't have warehouse, warehouse space for that. So we're given a specific list of what we can order from the annual catalog when we pre-order. Not not, we don't have to do that with the mini catalogs because they're smaller catalogs and they, they have room to carry both uh, outgoing and incoming catalog, uh, mini catalogs. So 
So you'll see, if you see, wonder why demonstrated are all showing, showing similar product. It's because we were all given the, the list, same list to order from. Um, next up is Happiness Abounds. We've got sending many thanks for all you do. Congratulations. You are wonderful in every way. Wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. Friend, best wishes, and happy birthday. And the coordinating dies are called Blossoming Happiness Dies. And I, I must say that I think for the first time in a while, um, Stampin' Up! I'm going to show you what I mean. Uh, have really, all of these pieces have dies that cut out with them, other than the words. So this one cuts out the large, and I just have to get it sorted around. Uh, there, nope. There we go, nope. You have to get the right orientation. You know, obviously I got it, I got it perfect the first time. Oh, uh, you believe me. There you go. There we go. And this one, let me do the bigger ones first. Uh, this one goes here. This one, because it's got this sort of like hat edge goes here. That one I know offhand. This one, look at even the little ones have coordinating dies. And this one goes here. This one goes here. And this one goes there. They, they, they're not laying down very well right now because they're, they're all laying on top of each other. So all of those dies coordinate. Plus, we have this, this die, which I have to play with it, but it's got sort of ha stitch marks down here. So I, I, and it looks like there's leaves all around it and the die cuts out the four corners. So I think it's going to be a really nice accent piece. And then the other one, the other two dies are these. And I'm going to bring them up closer. So you know when you have a, a, a oh gosh, a notebook? that you can rip the pages out of and you've got the spiral notebook and it rips it. So that's the effect that you would get with this one. And then this one is sort of like a stitch line all the way down. So be really great accent pieces for cards. So that is the Happiness Abounds stamp set with the coordinating dies. And I, they really done a really good job with the, with the dies and the coordination. Uh, next up, we have Brood for You, and we've got uh, IOU or IOU one or several. Another round for your birthday, O Ale, yes. And we've got like a wine jug. We've got a pop glass or a, um, a beer glass, a beer stein, a wine glass. You can stamp that in, put it inside. Just stamp it in a reddish color for red wine. This can be stamped in here to give it, uh, you can do it in the yellow, and this can be stamped in here to, for whatever color pop you want, or soda drink, soda, whatever. We, in Canada, we, we call it pop, so. Um, but I know what not everybody does. And then we've got the brood dies, the brood dies dies, and there are 14. And again, amazing coordination. So we have, oh, we, and we've got two foam heads here. So we've got the small foam head there. We've got this glass. We've got this jug. Uh, we've got this beer stein. This wine glass. And we've got this foam head. And then we have uh, this die with some embossing on it that has like bubbles and that could go on the inside or you can stamp that on the inside and we've got the same with the wine this can be cut and stamp and uh, adhere to the inside to give it like bubbly wine and then we've got three leaves I think folks they're hops I think I don't know and then we've got this die that would die cut out that. So if you wanted to make a shaker card, you could. And then this die, 
not sure if it goes here. It could go there to make it look like you've got wine uh, in there because it also has like bubbles. Or I wonder if you could, or if you just use this without that stamp, you can die cut that out and it would go there like that. So you would have sort of the bubbles on the inside. So that is the brood for you stamp set. Oh, and it's photopolymer. Did I not show you that? It's photopolymer. Okay. Let me put this back before I lose something. Because I'm always losing dies. Okay. That's the brood for you. Uh, next up, we've got bottled happiness. We've got this smaller bottle. Okay, I'm going to give you the sentiments first. Let's get into the spirit. Sending a little message. Sending cheer. Why not? Or an overflowing with happiness. And we've got some florals here. Uh, this could be a perfume bottle. Oh, and there's a little cork here as well. So this could be a perfume bottle if you wanted. Uh, we've got a flower. It could be a vase. The flower can go inside. And then we've got two bottles. This could be a half bottle. Like you could stamp that here and put it down here to sort of give you, make it look like you've got uh, water in there or, or something. And then here's the larger bottle. And then you've got the punch that will punch. I'm trying to get it so you see it okay, so that you it will punch that out. If you wanted to, you could punch it out and cut it down however you want. So you could put use the top part and it could be a vase. Or you can cut it and use the bottom part and use it for another type of open vase. So you've got some versatility with that. This could also be a witch's brew. So for think of Halloween, uh, you could use that as a witch's brew and, and you know put um, danger on it or something. Also that coordinates with the, this are some shakers. Uh, in the shape of a bottle. So you can make these cards into shaker cards. Another stamp set is the Good Feelings. Last weekend I attended on tour and this was the stamp set that I got for on tour. So thank you, sending sunshine and good feelings your way. I'm just so happy for you. You're on my mind and in my heart. Hip hip and hooray. I have a card tutorial coming up using this stamp set. So uh, look out for that. That was from uh, attending on tour. Alrighty, so let me continue on. All that, all that, that goes there. Okay, so next up is the Cup of Tea Bundle, which is the stamp set. There's 20 stamps. Thank you for your friendship. Take care of yourself. Let's get together soon. Thank you. Sweet, I miss you. I just can't thank you enough. Enjoy. To, from, it's time for tea. And we've got floral element, we've got a flower, a leaf here, we've got some floral and leaves here. Another tag, a tag, and two cups. Again, folks, Stampin' Up's done a phenomenal job with coordinating the dies. This die set has 17 dies. So, and oh, did I tell you that there's also that lemon or lime piece wedge there. So that die can go there. This die can go here. We've got this lemon wedge here. Even this floral stem here, or this leaf stem. We have this bunch of leaves or floral stems there. We've got this large tag that cuts out that. Back up to the lemon wedge, we can also die cut out the middle. Look at this, we can stamp all of this at once and die cut it out all at once together. We've got a little tea tag, decorative tea, uh, tea tag, is that what they call tea tag? There, we've actually got two of those. We've got two hearts. And we've got uh, these, this flower here and there are two of those as well. And, um, oh, it even die cuts out. See this little, this little accent piece here? Even die cut for that. There's two of those. And then two, uh, sorry, one die that has three hearts on it. So every image other than the sentiments has a die for it. Love it. 
Love it, love it, love it. So let me put that all back in. And this is, sorry folks, photopolymer as well. Okay. We're getting to the end. Okay. If I don't put them back right away, I'm going to lose stuff. Okay. Well, like I've already lost the, um, the shaker elements. Uh, okay, so along with that comes designer series paper. And this is called Tea Boutique. And the colors are Crumb Cake, Crushed Curry, Fresh Freesia, Garden Green, Orchid Oasis, Park, Parakeet Party, Petal Pink, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, and Tahitian Tide. And there are 48 sheets for each of, uh, of double-sided patterns. So one, two, one, two, maybe I should do it this way. Make sure I got the uh, images going in the right direction. There's the one side and there's the other side. That's one side, the other side. They're small scale. That's why one of the reasons I like the six by six is because they're small scale. Great for that little accent piece on a card. Sometimes the large paper is is uh, busy for, for cards, right? So um, these are, like you can just use that strip down the side of a card. A nice accent piece. Oh, I have an idea. And there's the other side. One side and then the other. One side. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but there's the pop of blue in there. It's really pretty. And there's the other side. The event on last Saturday, one of the projects showcased was using this bundle. Oh, such pretty projects. Really, really pretty. And it's, it can't make it out. They're little envelopes that have flowers in them. And then there's the other side. And we're getting there. I'm still ticked that I can't find the uh, shakers, but. And then also there was cards with matching envelopes and they're in the in colors. So these, this is the envelope. And then on the back side, it's plain on the, on the inside, but it carries over the pattern, which I think is really pretty. So the pattern kind of wraps around to the back of the envelope. So that's the card, that's the envelope. And then here's the coordinating card. Be really easy to put together a, a sweet set of cards to give someone using the teacup dies and the teacup stamp set to create really, really, really pretty set of cards. And, and th these are all in the in colors. Look at this, this is so pretty. Love it. And there's the back side. And there's the back with the carryover. And then here's the parakeet party. Love the love the names that Stampin' Up comes up with. I don't know where they come from, but um, and then uh, one of the other things I got, and then I'll show you the last bit was the glossy dots assortment this is oh gorgeous oh, okay i can gorgeous grape melon mambo daffodil delight and pool party any any accent piece like this i love so that's the accent piece and then the last uh item i picked up was called he's all that and if you know me you know i have a really hard time doing male themed cards but i really like this so we've got He's All That, wishing you a happy Father's Day. Love this guy, hello handsome with the mustache. To the man who does everything, happy birthday to a classic, a number one, a little button, a little photo corner. Holy smokes, you're amazing. Every day with you is another adventure and together for the long haul. And then, yes, folks, there are coordinating dies that go with it. And uh, this one is happy birthday to a classic. 
This one can cut out that one or that one. This one can cut out that one. This one can cut out that one. This one, I love this one. I know it's so simple, but I love this one. It cuts out that one. And then we have two Argyle, Argyle um, die cuts. And then two of these banners. So this one does a double banner. And then these two do sort of like a curved, curved arrow banner, curved bar banner. So that is the He's All That with the All That Dies. So this is the one side of the paper, not for vegetarians. We've got a cow, a pigs and we've got a cow on here. We've got a barbecue, uh, a bowling pin, knives and forks, some barbecue utensils, flames. So I think it's really cute paper, but uh, yeah, some people might not like it. <laughs> and then there's the back. It's the Cajun craze. This is another fun piece of uh, designer series paper. We've got glasses, uh, mustaches, shoes, ties, arrows, fingers, uh, your number one type ba um, pins, like banner, uh, what are they called, whatever, you know, number one, ribbons, that's what it is, ribbons. Uh, so it's, it's fun paper. And then the back is sort of early espresso and it's like a suit stripe. This is classic cars. So if you remember the stamp set, we there was like happy birthday to a classic would go great with that paper. And there's the back. Here's the Argyle. And here is the back. This one could be for anybody, whether male, female, any camp, anybody that's a camper. We've got um, the Winnebago's and the tents and the trees, and it's a and again a really cute paper. And then here's the back. Um, and then also with this paper comes two sheets of these die cuts, which I think are ingenious. So I've actually poked some of them out already. So so there's two sheets, so you've got double, two of everything. This would make a great scrapbook page, like a layout, if you wanted to do a scrapbook page and do some journaling. That one went here. Uh, this is just a, yep, torn paper, torn paper edge that you could use uh, to layer onto a card or a scrapbook page to give some interest. This is another torn paper, and remember a few um, items ago I said that the torn paper that those two long dies this is kind of the look that you would get with that this is torn even more but that's that's what i was referring to but this would make a great card to add it onto a card i have like an idea in my head like you can layer it and build it onto a card and even use like uh to the man who does everything and stamp that on the top and layer it up great layering piece or you could use it for scrapbook page i really like i really love these elements and when i saw this i went i i okay i need this i need this and then we've got um the v v vw bus with the surfboard on top um hope your day is a grand adventure nice work with you i'm never lost uh, you make me hoppy, cheers to all your years, best dad award, you're stronger than you know, strong and courageous, you're flipping awesome, uh, holy smokes, you're the best, hooray, looking sharp, my man, uh, moose, uh, you're the champ, got a vintage car, you're a classic, and uh, we've got some embellishments, uh, the moose, moose horns, a little flag here, banner flag, another banner, arrows, arrows, uh, wrench, uh, tree. So lots of stars. So lots of little added on things that would be great to layer onto a card or to a scrapbook page. I think this would, I think this is actually perfect for scrapbooking. And then the last but not least that I picked up was the rustic metallic adhesive dots because why not? I think they would go perfect with this set. 
Have a good one. Happy stamping. We'll talk to you again soon. Take care.